All right. What's up, guys? Welcome to some more AD12 Season 33 action. We have, um, I literally forgot the team names, Hobbits 2 Isengard versus Mary Todd Lincoln, and I'm joined uh, by Graybush to break down this game for you all tonight. Hello. Yeah, this one, it should be extremely fun to watch, I think. These are two, like, veteran teams that I think basically everyone knows who they are, at least most of the players that are on them, so it should be a very exciting uh, series tonight. So it's like a very history match, right? Like, uh, Havis Isengard, which is basically just Misty Mountain Boys with a few people swapped in and out, and Mary Todd Lincoln, which has been their name forever. So this, like, dates clear back at, you know, single-digit 80-12 seasons, I'm pretty sure. And they're, so it should be a good match. Yeah, these are some some real boomers of the AD12 league here. And I'm surprised we haven't seen a Razor ban already. <laughs> Maybe we get it here on the second phase, because you did tell me that JoJo is all about that Razor these days, so... Dude, it is, he's about that Razor life, and they banned out two heroes... Uh, I mean, I think Bane's actually decent against Razor, so I'll be curious to see what they pick. Yeah, I'm curious if they, didn't, I guess, take the Bane for themselves, but at least so far, what I've seen from MTL's drafts this season, that's they don't really seem to be, like, drafting where a hero like Bane would be super valuable. And, oh, they open up with the Willow. Also, apparently, Hobbits have not been ticketing their games properly, because only two of them show up. <laughs> which is unfortunate, but... Those were probably the two games that Seal played, so... Oh, valid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, True. So that's definitely a propaganda Dark Willow. Um, I have played with his will, and he is very good at lane in it, and it's definitely something to watch out for, because he's going to pop his W and look to nuke down the carry. Is pretty good laner. Oh, yeah, it's always nice to see a... A solid Willow player um, just ball out on that hero. I think MTL so far, let me, again, swap back to their drafts and see. Well, they've they've done a lot of weird stuff. They've gone with the support Weaver, which I feel like isn't really something they've done before. But now they're opening with Mars. Very cool. So I think Mars is kind of a, well, I think it's a good pickup. I think Subwoofer will go ahead and probably play that because he's their offlaner most times. Yeah. But it kind of blocks it from the Willow Mars combo. Uh. Yeah, I feel like that's slightly like a deny pick there, like you were saying. I think they might go for, I guess, the Pause War Weaver again, since they've opened with that twice this season. They also seem to like favor like Ogre, or maybe even like a Snapfire, I think, as their secondary pick. I mean, there's like limitless possibilities here since they're in the first phase, and basically everything works well with Mars, honestly. Yeah, I I would like to personally see a, um, oh what is what you call it a uh, snap, snap pick here, uh because yeah, yeah okay yeah because you throw that damage into the into the circle and you don't even have to be close and your Mars is gonna blink initiate pop arena, you just drop a ton of damage in there so I think it's good. Yeah, I think. Also, you've got the. I don't think most snaps go for the the what's it called the third spell will shredder build as much in lane anymore but even with like a light lightstone it's incredibly valuable with the mars in lane oh they go for chug wow that's a the, i guess the easy counter to mars but not really um if the mars player knows what they're doing i think so that is a dill hero and like i would say dill's probably got three signature heroes but his two best are definitely his morphling and his juggernaut and I don't know if I've ever casted a game where Dill played Juggernaut and he didn't have a good game. Yeah, I I feel like every time I think I agree with that. Dill always kind of kind of makes stuff happen and gets like his farm on Jug. I think he's like what like platinum tier twenty two. I think if I had to make a guess off the top of my head, but I'm not entirely certain. Yeah, um, I'm really surprised he hasn't hunkered down and just went ahead and got the level 25 mastery on it. <laughs> <laughs> Ten 
Master tier is cringe. It's only cool if you're on platinum tier instead. Right. <laughs> One of these days, I will can I will not have commitment issues, and I will try to get a platinum hero. <laughs> Just run it all the way to. I. It's like it, it's super. I don't know. I feel like I never try to like spam a hero. I just kind of like play a hero that I like and I just end up, I'm like, oh wait, I'm gold tier now. When did this happen? Oh. I felt that way when Hoodwink came out. I had like an 80% win rate on her. And I was like, oh, I think this might be the first hero I actually actively try to get like high 20s. And then they hit her with like massive nerfs. And I'm like, all right. Yeah, it's always like trying to pay attention to when it gets nerfed or not. Um, the Huskar ban from Hobbits. They have been actually playing this hero. They've pulled it out twice so far on MTL, which again, like it doesn't seem... This feels like a fresh kind of MTL this season, at least in terms of like the drafts. Like before, I feel like there was like... I don't want to say that they had like hero-like puddles, but it felt like you could generally like guess... Um, a small like group of heroes for each role for what they're gonna play but now it feels like they're like branching out a lot more like this mars coming in the fact that they like pulled in like a blood seeker last time they whipped out like an enigma or stuff like that um it feels like a fresh mtl this season which is always nice to see from like old teams yeah and you know there is the possibility that you could run like a mars five or a snap five if you had to but I'm surprised we're not seeing any Timber Salt bans from NTL. They're showing two strength heroes already. Yeah, that might just be a, a very free Timber. Especially because they, they're going to have... They're going to pick it into one more. So yeah, they might just get like a very free... There is no Viper ban yet though. And I know either team would definitely pick up that Viper. They're not... They're not going to hesitate and be like, oh no, Viper's a dumb hero. They'll just take it. Um, so they have to be aware of that one. It kind of seems... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what NTL's going to do. I think they're going to pull some wild out here. <laughs> I hope so. They're kind of cutting into their drafting time, though. They must be talking this one over pretty heavy. Yeah, they used quite a bit of reserve for both their openers as well as this one right now. Is there chunking down on the time? Dark Seed? Okay. Okay, so I think that is a Snapfire 5 and a Mars 4, probably. Yeah, that's kind of kind of interesting. So they go. this is like a really heavy teamfight lineup. Or it could be a mid-Mars. I don't know how comfortable JoJo is with it, though. Well, uh, against it, or because... Oh, wait, yeah, I'm stupid. Never mind. That's on MTL. Yeah, yeah. I don't I... know how to read, apparently. Okay, so Oracle, that's a that's just a classic or Darkseer like, counterpick because you just purge off his Ion Shell and Lane, and he kind of defeats what he wants to do. Yeah, it's it's also pretty rough against like Mars Snapfire as well. Um, at the moment, you basically have your initiation down to this Mars Spear, and getting like caught on the arena wall. And if you just like break that, um, at least right now they have no other damage, so they're gonna have to figure out how to have like any other. I would prefer physical sustain damage after this. Um, like maybe like I think a Spectre might be not bad if you can like go for the Oracle in the back line. Um, so they still got Vac Wall and they got Cookie into Arena. I, I like I still think their team fight's strong, but you lose your lane efficacy of Darkseer. Wow, a Slardar pick. What? I haven't seen this hero in a very long time. Um, yeah, that's. I mean, Willow Slardar is very strong, but. I I don't know if... I guess they're just feeling comfortable on the slaughter. I've, That's I not a Tim hero, typically. Yeah, I... It's... Because it's, it's a... Because it's a fairly aggressive hero. Darkseer kind of... 
not I wouldn't say hard counters it, but it counters it in a way because Slaughter wants to blink in and get on the back lines and your Darkseer's just gonna surge away whoever he's trying to go on. Yeah, it's it, it's an interesting interesting pick because generally you'd want like, uh, like better control slash stun the versus spirit. the um dark seer wait oracle purges off ember shield too yeah i don't know if it's like as much of an as much of an issue i think this ember at least for now is just gonna have to like just dodge out the willow stuff i don't think he cares as much about the about the the purge from the oracle i also think most embers just go for like the slight build anyway they'll get like i think mixed damage in terms of like a maelstrom and then uh ags or something like that um i wouldn't be surprised if we don't see ember do like this like the maelstrom spirit vessel type build this game because he's gonna have to be pretty active on the map yeah the anti-healing could be very cool as well against yeah. the oracle well and like it's always nice to have a, like a vessel against like you said oracle slardar not so much but like willow because you can drop it on her and she can press her w but she'll just die through it okay so there's a viper ban I mean, I don't know. If I see the enemy team ban Viper, I just rock Timber Salt all day mid here. <laughs> Get a mid Timber going for JoJo, yeah? I mean, that is... Uh, here's my guess. It's Razor, Nature's Prophet, Monkey King. And I think he'll probably be Monkey King because I think he likes the Ember Spirit Monkey King matchup. That is true. Monkey into Ember would be pretty great. Unless MTL... Would they, would they run this Ember safely? Perhaps. Mm. I, I mean, it it was a thing for a while, but you don't see it as much nowadays. I don't think. I mean, I don't know if it would do too good against the starter. Um, I guess we, they have the last pick overall in MTL, so they could literally do whatever they want. But I think the Monkey King, like you said, is a, a pretty a pretty solid pick. Um, and I assume MTL is going for some physical right clicker. I think Spectre is what they're going for, from the fact that they banned both this Viper and the Necro. Um, and I think, or at least I think that would be the, like the proper pick for them. But uh, like an active I mean, Spectre with Falcon Blade Ags or something like that. They could try something kind of squirrely and maybe do like, well. But they left, like like I said, they left the timber open. But I was going to say they could do like a bristle. Because I think a bristle do fine, does fine in this matchup. Yeah, except the oracle kind of purges his vis viscous nasal goo. So. But that that's a lot of purges that the oracle has to get off. Yeah, he has to really choose uh where he wants to to use it and i think if you just pop it in the wrong place and you just get smacked by by whoever i think the most important one is probably getting rid of surge whenever it's used um yeah i think surge would probably be the most most valuable one to to remove uh it yeah and it depends if it's a gank attempt from ember he kind of uses his shield is just a straight dps output like a free radiance in a way uh, so i mean that's always good to get rid of i don't i don't know i i don't think they have enough burst damage to really burst through oracle's ult either yeah it's gonna be Ooh, wind that is a jojo hero yeah um I, th I think it's going to be entirely on on the Ember to, at least right now, to pump out the damage. Um, or just go and, like, kill the Oracle. Um, I kind of... Man, I don't know. I kind of thought Razor was, would be decent here. You kind of uh, build BKB and just run out of Are you... Okay. That's... 
That's a pick. That... <laughs> wow. Um, that certainly is a pick, and I'm not sure... What is that set? The AM set, or...? Yeah, the A... I don't know if I've ever seen that AM set. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I like this, because AM's just not a... Not a good hero. I mean, no. I mean, JoJo's just gonna run down lanes with Wind Ranger, pop his focus fire, to either get a kill or take a tower, and like AM just wants to farm till 25 minutes and be the strongest hero on the map. And I don't know if he's gonna have the kind of space he needs to do that. I yeah, I really like. I like the Wind Ranger pick a lot. Um, definitely, I think over the Razor because um hobbits could they needed a little more control for this ember i think relying on like blink slaughter sun or like the willow setup isn't enough and now they have shackle and that basically threatens this wind is now like the scariest hero on the map um once like javelin or like maelstrom is picked up so i i don't know mtl just feels a little a little slow and it doesn't seem like they're set to win their lanes either um, cause it's, is it, is it Darkseer's snap or, uh, let me see. Hmm. Uh, I think Thieves are three players, so, yeah, I think that should be a five snap. Or, yeah, so Lung Butter goes five, and then Thieve goes four, okay, so then it's snap. And, uh... what they type? Uh, Snap and, and, and AM, which seems kind of... I just feel like it doesn't do anything, I, I guess. Um, which I guess is the point, you know, it's AM, so... Not really yeah. meant to get anything done, but, uh... I don't know. I mean, Juggernaut just hits that hard mid-game timing and, like... That's about no. the point your AM yes. gets his Battle Fury and really wants to turn in that rice Boy, mode where he goes and cuts lanes and is in the enemy jungle hitting creeps while you're fighting on the other side. I don't think that feels good. Yeah, I... I I'm, I'm just not a fan of the AM. I feel like you could have gone any other carry that gets online earlier, and I feel like they want to, like, stall a little bit. But I think you need to have the option of being able to fight, and AM doesn't really have that until you have Battle Fury Manta plus one. Um, <laughs> honestly, Spirit Breaker Safe Lane would have been able to fight more. Uh, definitely not the pick, though, I think, but. Oh, well, this might be they a have first found snap. Hey, this is. Oh, that's, that's definitely. Only for blood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and JoJo snipes it! <laughs> Easy JoJo snipe. <laughs> this is what he's here to do. I'm kind of sad they changed her shot. I mean, I like Gale Force, but I like the map, the global uh, power shot. <laughs> oh my god, Sub so lost the, the clicking battle for the rune, but... Yeah, I think the, the global power shot was fun, but Gale Force is definitely the an incredibly strong ability. The fact that it's global, I think, is ridiculous. Like... Um, it's just crazy, the fact that you can just cast that from wherever you want. This is a winning matchup for win, though, correct? I think so, but also, no shade on JoJo, I think also Placebo just might be better. So, I think, despite the fact that Wind should win the matchup, I think, um... There might be a little bit of like a skill difference which will come into play. Um, yeah. Because like this first wave, I think Placebo got a whole lot more than he should have. Um, and that's going to set him up real nicely. Thieves actually running <laughs> Oracle Under Towers. So that's kind of interesting. But this does mean that Sub can get a little more last hits down bottom. Um, yeah, and then, okay, so he gets his Ion Shell purged, and now he just stands in lanes and soaks the XP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's I mean, JoJo a... still has the network lead, though, do that first blood. Yeah. So 
so far, though, he's missing quite a bit on the CS. Uh, at least in... At least, I kind of guess both of them are missing. No one's really denying as well, so... But, let's see if it is ahead in terms of a battle wave. Oh, Mariachi with the camp off. That's, that's nice. The only one surprised by this. The spear I mean, first is also interesting on support mods. <coughs> Sorry. So you're 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 the resident Mars expert here. Yeah. How do you feel about him being played as a four? Um I think it used to be Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, Mary actually just lost his career to a range creep right there. Interesting. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> um <laughs> That's a play and a half. Um to a creep. I don't think Mars 4 is as good anymore. I think it used to be strong when, like, Rebuke was better, and Mars was just better as a hero. The hero's been, like, continuously nerfed, um, and it's still strong, because I think the hero, like, the concept is just good. But, like, numbers-wise, this hero has just been crushed over and over again. Because um, you used to just, all, just only need levels, and then you were, like, fine. Um, because you just output it damage that way, but now like Mars basically all your spells have been nerfed um, in terms of cooldowns um, Mana cost and damage so it, it just kind of sucks being a support That's, that's absolutely not what I expected I'll always remember how foolish you looked Yeah it's just like, I feel like there's better supports out there if you want like a nuker. I mean, obviously nothing compares to Arena in terms of control, like the, the AoE control that it offers, but um, I feel like it's not exactly that necessary. You can pick something else that has, uh, um, that offers like some kind of stun. Also, Dill is absolutely owning this bottom lane. He's yeah, just... that's why he's just rush in this CS battle. Yeah. He's popping and off. Top three net worth are all uh, hobbits. Jojo has to be careful mid. Placebo is whacking him a little more unless the root's coming in. Now, Willow. He made his way here. A little more damage, but not enough to kill anyone. And, ooh, power shot whiffs. And he's gonna get the... But they're not keeping very good control of these water runes. Yeah, Jojo got like, one of them, but that bottom one's gonna keep Lucido healthy. I think, uh... Oops. Um, I, I feel like Mariachi needs to go ahead, because he's not really doing anything in lane, except clearing Ion Shell. He needs to come up and secure the power runes for Jojo, because he needs a, he needs a sustain to get what he needs. He needs to get this Javelin and Boots, and then he's fine. Yeah, it's... It's not really going that great, or like prop. Uh, I mean, prop kind of went to secure it there a little bit, but not exactly. So I think they can help out their mid a little bit. Also, I like the fact that oh, I think went for the bounty room, didn't actually go for the kill. Oh, they've got a oh, spin on sub uh, bottom. Oh, and he hates that was very well timed. He got the purifying flames up and like set him to ten health, so and didn't KS. I always KS as Oracle. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the the fortunes end as well was timed perfectly to get rid of both the ion shell and the surge. So everything in uh, one. Top, top. Oh, oh, top. Never mind. I thought Tim was gonna get that third hit and get a bash in on uh, AM, and that would have been bad news bears. That would have been quite bad. I would like to see these uh, heroes top figure out a little more region. Um, it looks like everyone seems to be relying on the passive ring of health or just the the empty sticks, but some extra clarities or mangoes up top could make the difference for either of these two supports, honestly. So Jojo's 50 gold off of this javelin, and then I think he just hard rotates a side lane and looks to get a pick. Uh, yeah, I think around whatever rune that pops, but it looks like um, he doesn't actually have a ward mid, so he has no idea what runes are spawning. Meanwhile, Placebo has had a ward here and replaced one to uh, make sure that he has all the ideas of where the runes are. Yeah, and he's 
Now he's cutting the wave with the siege wave hitting. What a baller. Top of him is just laying the hammer down, though. He actually lost career again. Thea, though, walking at him has no mana for spells, so. Oracle will just walk away. Behold, a sudden burn. Ember actually popped Invis, but no mana to, to do anything, so. I just have yeah, to. Yeah, he should have. Drop the remnant and then TP back to base and then look to like gink a side lane or something. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Now Jojo, recognizing okay. the fact that placebo has no mana, is just gonna go for the kill, gets the shackle. Nice play. And He's now, got two points in wind run. That's interesting. Deep actually might just kill him with the spear right here. That's gonna be a kill. Oh no! Nope. The last right click. He's not gonna <laughs> get it. And he gives a voice line. Oh, that's super value, because now bottom, Dill, freer than ever. Yeah, and he's leading net worth. Looks like he's going for the Maelstrom build, which is very good on Juggernaut nowadays, I feel like. Yeah, absolutely the play. I think if you go Battle Fury, you're just griefing yourself and your team. Uh, DD Rune is going to be possibly saved unless... Oh, I got denied. Nice play, but this might just be his life going down. He is going to dodge some of the damn magic damage with that... Um, I forget what it's called. Is it Fortune's End? It is Fate's Eating. There we go. But another Remnant Ford. They're still going off onto the Oracle right here. Jojo now made his way forward. He's gonna get a Shackle off, but not gonna connect fully. Uh, but he did deny the DD and waste a buckload of time there. Yeah. Ch making him chase. And so, like, I don't know. Jojo's got boots now and Javelin, and I he gets Maelstrom, and he just rotates, and what do you do? And so far, Mars has been making very few stacks in the jungle, and they actually placed a ward down to, to block the stacks as well, so... Very cool play. That's hilarious. I would- and see there, when he went to stack that, that, uh... Thunderhide was standing at the very corners, so I would be like, Ah, I just missed my timing. Yeah. I, I don't think he even noticed. He, like, just walked away and hasn't, like, checked the, the ancient camp just yet. But... Also, the fact that the large camp did stack oh, and made uh, the noise. Oh. AM. He just, like... <laughs> that was three right clicks, and he half health the AM. That does <laughs> not feel good. It is quite strong. Oh. Jojo. Not gonna get a shackle off. Uh, but can he force this mid tower now? Yeah, I think that's his, his goal. He has to at least... Uh, someone, I think, on either of the teams needs to start forcing down towers. Because it's been relatively equal either way. Um, I think Dill has probably the greatest potential to force the tower in and then farm the jungle. But Sub is now getting advantage of farming the enemy jungle, which is nice for him. But it looks like they might just go for Mars and your Thieb running into the trees. But that won't work when you have the fortunes end on you. Now the spin as well. Dill actually jukes himself in the trees, so... Yeah. Well, I didn't... I don't know why he didn't body block there. <laughs> Strange. I would like to see people start rotating out of lanes now, though. That's for sure. Yeah, it is 10 minutes. Um, I think a rotation anywhere would probably result in a kill. Um, or, honestly, just, like, going on any hero here. It looks like top... Prop is taking that to heart and is looking to run onto the Snapfire, but has no other spells available, so nothing will happen. Oh. If he was level 6, I think that goes a little different. Cause... Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, he just got it. <laughs> that Bedlam is so strong early game. So I feel like Prop needs to come mid or TP bot and look to use that bedlam to get an early advantage yeah it's it's a little too passive right now dill also has maelstrom and i think should just kill deep here yeah my god he got two procs in a row and just melted him 621st maelstrom or uh omni slash kill also am apparently just came bottom um 
I guess they're just planning to seed the top tower completely as they've sent the Snapfire mid. It's mid on Jojo. The ult's not going to hit all the hits here. Placebo now looking for more. He does have one remnant remaining, plus slight chains available. Has to get this if he wants to kill. We'll use the wind run as well on Jojo. The remnant, the last remnant. <gasps> Jojo, he doesn't dodge it, but he gets the false promise off, and now they're going to turn off on Placebo here. They've got the focus fire and the disarm coming out, and Jojo's back to, back to half. Two for the price of none. That was a beautiful PP from Mariachi to get that uh, ultimate off on the JoJo. <laughs> oh, it's super value. And he can just leave, and Dill's also top as well. I realized that they've sent everyone to top and gotten the tower. Yeah, so I think they need to keep pressure on this AM. I mean, he's a lot of gold away from Battle Fury. You don't want to give him a free lane like this. Yeah, they can... Honestly, they either like run at him or just take this like mid tower here because um, MTL is committing a lot of resources to maybe look to catch Jojo here. They're going to use the arena, but they're going to whiff the wall and the spear. Now they're just going to keep him around here. They're going to get the cookie in as well. Now Jojo has no win run available. We'll get the fortunes, the fates edict to keep him alive a little longer, but he'll finally get the kill after committing quite a few ults. But he is the highest net worth kill on the map they could have gotten I think. So. That is a very valuable kill yeah a kill streak as well um can they take the tower though they actually have literally no tower damage on the side of MTO that is their problem um, they do have snap but she's only got one point uh little shredder yeah, sieging is miserably slow for them. Thebes actually gonna walk into two brambles in a row. Gonna get surged away. Stun is still on the high ground. Can they get oh the blink stun from Slaughter is gonna catch him here? They've got the Mortarverse Kisses running from the back lines. As Lung Butter is very far away, but Mariachi has caught him out. And oh, that's all the damage in the world. The slight gonna come through. Cleanup prop. They're gonna get the shackle off onto Ember here. Do they have any more stuns available? He has two remnants, so he should be Ooh. fine, especially with the surge. Him being out of mana there, he couldn't get the crush off. Yeah, that is unfortunate, Jojo. Oh, he wants that regen rune. He wants it bad. <laughs> and meanwhile, Dill actually has a full Yasha completed coming out on the courier. And AM, still no Battle Fury. He is 600. He's 1200 gold off of it. Uh. I, I don't know. I don't like them conceding farm to AM, though. I feel like they need to be just pressuring bot and enforce him back in his own jungle. Yeah, uh, MTL's... Oh, Omni's just going to be committed top. Thebes just a dead man walking. And now, dead man just normally. Because um, MTL's committing so many heroes to mid. Two cores and a support. I feel like... Um, Hobbits can just make moves elsewhere, and they kind of are. They're not committing as many heroes. They're defending with um, less resources. I like Dark Willow's anti-push potential, too. Like, she could just TP mid and just stop anything they want to do. Oh, sub? Actually, going to get stunned again. Surge is going to come out, but that's not enough to keep him alive. And now the Shackle comes out, plus the Focus Fire. JoJo's caught another. He's got the Snap Fire in his sights. He's going to take him down. Um, yeah, they're definitely hanging around uh, mid too long. They need to go try to gank uh, Dill and stop or slow him down at least. Yeah, they're they're doing they're committing too many heroes to do too little mid. The siege wave though, not gonna be able to take out this tower. Their tower is very healthy on the side of MTL, so that is the silver lining. I feel like they just keep running down mid and Jojo just keeps throwing out power shots and <laughs> de-pushing and then like just randomly like somebody will step out of position and he'll get a focus fire. Top? Oh, sub's just gonna walk away. Man, this man is very poor. Going for a first item Lotus Orb. Nice. Ooh, mid. They're gonna not get the crush off onto Ember, but they will get the bash, and now Tim in a little bit of trouble here. There needs to be a little more damage to take him out, and they're gonna get it. The Snapfire's just gonna claim the kill. Now Prop looking towards Mars Prop, here on the watch. other side. Keep. Gonna spear him away. Ooh, it connects onto the tree as well. Now Mirachi gonna use that um, False Promise on himself, plus the magic immunity. 
he's most probably still gonna die as he tries to TP away, but that's not gonna happen. Back there, Prop's gonna get killed by that mana void, both cleaning up someone here. Also, whoa, Jojo manages to get Lung Butter. Now, does he have anything available? He has a wind run in one, which he's gonna commit here. Does Placebo have the chains of spear? He's gonna dodge it. Oh my god, Jojo, you god. Now gonna get the shackle as well onto the illusion. My god, Jojo's styling on them, but he has to be a little careful. Placebo does he's surged up and he's gonna get that slight chains combo, but deciding not to go any further. And this mid tower uh, is gonna live. So, no objectives gained. And Dill is basically 500 well less than 500 gold off of having a full Mjolnir and then is he just gonna group and they're gonna take objectives I, I I hope so I don't know about going to Mjolnir it feels a little a little redundant I think an SNY or even a Manta would have been uh, more valuable or just building towards something else um, honestly I think a glep near this game would have been really cool um, I think they're lacking little control, and that surprise Glefner would probably destroy both the AM and the actually everyone on their team. Yeah, they're so reliant on like surge and and uh, remnant for mobility. So, Hastern, Hastern. There's a blink on Jojo, so this might just yeah. be a sick play. Actually, the smoke just breaks. <laughs> They're walking in like a madman. It's gonna catch two heroes in the arena right here, but now there is a stun going off onto me. So they get bashed up. They're gonna pop the wall as well. It finally hits off into starter here. They're gonna commit one, two. Lung Butter does go down in the back line to the combo of Oracle plus Jojo. Now Jojo has no focus fire available. It's just gonna have to run away. It looks like Mirachi's gonna be the one left behind, or... Oh, False Promise is available if he wants to commit it. Will he use it? Yes, he will to buy a little more time. He's now going to try and TP away. Now they're turning off onto the right here. The Omni Slash is going to go off. And it's actually not going to go back off onto Bull here. So the M should be perfectly fine. Able to blink away and deal. Back to farming. Oh. How did that Omni Slash not jump the AM? I think it was just outside of range. It's a... Jump radius is 425. I don't know how much that is, honestly. Um. I mean... I don't know, but I felt like they were fairly close there. <laughs> yeah. Bill, just commit on that tower, yeah. Yeah, get the tower, go for it. <laughs> okay, so he's got a full Mjolnir, and it looks like he's opt-in for... So it looks like he just built a Mjolnir to transition it into a farming item, and then he's going to pick up the SNY. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's kind of interesting because generally with Maelstrom S and Y you want to be fighting early, but so far oh. Dill has been committing the Omni mostly just for the Mars, like and like for picks, um, and I think Hobbits really needs to group because they are on the AM timer. Like AM does suck as a hero, but he can still do stuff if he gets farmed. Um, yeah, I mean. You remember when we played together, like... Oh, Jojo? He's gonna get the shackle oh. off plus the focus fire, but... Oh, no. No way he's gonna kill him in the stun duration. And now he just might go down. There is a arena... Oh, it misses! Jojo. Now he just needs to wait out the stuns and potentially get another shackle off onto Bull here. Will he use it? No, he won't. He, what? They just get the kill? Okay. Uh, yeah. That was a ton of experience for the AM and... He's got a finished Battle Fury and he's already got a Yasha build. So he's gonna hit that Manta timing, get the Basher at like 30 minutes and like that gets really scary. Yeah. Oh, Placebo walking up to the high ground. He's gonna get rooted and bashed up over here, but has the remnant to get away in time and the illusion rune, so he's gonna dodge out both. They're looking for the Oracle now, but no arena will probably have them back away. And it looks like Dill's gonna pressure this top tower. Nope, he backs off. Oh, he should. He should literally just run at it. He, he can see every single hero from NTL right here. I think you have to be you have to be attacking that tower. Tim's gonna walk in very aggressively as I accidentally swapped to the other side of the map, but looks like MTL just does not want to fight. Yeah. And so yeah, they could have taken top T2 tower. I mean he may get a kill on Thief here. Oh, I saw that Omni Slash cast animation happen. I, he really needs to be hitting this tower right now. Is down bottom. The fear goes out. The Mortimer's kisses are cancelled. And now Dill. Come on. Just hit the tower. Do it. 
Do I it. believe in you. Do it. He's got the, the cat as well, so he can like literally tank as many tower hits as he wants, and now he's gonna commit for it. They actually just have nothing to kill him. He's spin TP is um ooh. Phoebe's gonna get murdered again. What else is new? And he's gonna TP. And he's gonna TP bottom, so continuous farming. And that's a four-man rotation, pretty much. Use top. JoJo's gonna get a stun. Off onto Ooh, placebo mid. They're gonna get the follow-up control as well, and that's a, a cleanup kill and potentially the mid tower, finally. So Bill just bought a ag shark. <laughs> I guess he's got the SNY, you can get that as well. That does is like a fast paced build. I like the fact that he's going Asher next as well. More control. Yeah, he's he's about five minutes out from being very, very frightening, but AM's gonna start split pushing you pretty hard here. Yeah, they're just gonna have to keep making moves. This smoke is nice. Prop I think sees the fact that there's some people there but it looks like they want to turn their sights over to am who still doesn't have a manta so this is actually a pretty darn easy kill if they can get on top of him which they are they're gonna use the oh the shackle doesn't go through but the bash does he's gonna blink away but they already have vision on him they're actually setting up he was perfectly in place to get him here the root isn't gonna connect so they're still gonna keep chasing bull he's gonna blink away Man, one boy. more what do they have they have the long shot from willow the shadow rum hit they're gonna clean up the kill uh, oh, Tim's got a, uh, uh, Echo Saber. That is super good for them. And Sub yeah. should just Oh, he's hide. gonna get the Bash. Yeah. He's gonna get the... Oh, nothing more, unless Tim wants to go for it. Lotus Orb's gonna be pop, so... I would prefer if they just maybe get the tower rather than go in... Yeah, hand I... and diving. I mean, they took the AM off the map for, I mean, 40 seconds. That's... He's still 800 gold off of Manta. Like, he just TP's then again. I think you rotate your heroes, kill him, and then pressure the tower. Yeah, they can get top, they can get mid, and then Roche is just free. Like, they take it so easily with Slaughter um, and Jug, so that's just... And, like, what, what threatens this Jug ever? Like, they have to hope for, like, the best spear combo or, like, the best cookie in the world, but... Like, look, is look, way stronger. Yeah, look, he's putting his body between the enemy team and his team. They just smoke to run at him. He's just gonna break it and then spin. Yeah. <laughs> they literally have nothing for this guy. He's so, so free. And they got top for that. A four-man rotation for Jug to just press Q and walk away. And they can collapse on this. In fact, I hope they do. They have Omni... He's just gonna Thebes about to get murdered again, I think, unless they can get the stun off. Can they get anything more in time? Dill, he's gonna pop that healing ward and the spin to get away. The arena's not gonna go for anything, and now Sub, though, he's being protected by the arena wall, but he's gonna get feared away. Now Lung Butter's gonna pop that. Mortimer's Kiss is looking for the Jug right here. He needs to get the Omni off, but he's not able to do it in time. He was rooted up, and now Jojo in the back lanes, unable to get the Snapfire. What more can they get out of this? Looks like Tim's gonna be the one to catch. They're gonna get the roots. Placebo's gone. Ember Spirit's dead, and now Jojo has that blink up. He's gonna look for more. Ooh, he doesn't get Thebe, but they will get Lung Butter instead. The Snapfire gonna get cleaned up here. The Spear's gonna connect as well. I'm lagging out a little, but oh, the turn, the Scatter Blast. Whoa. I would really like it if Jojo built a uh, Orchid here. I yeah. feel like he could just blink Orchid and murk the AM. I guess he's getting Manta, though. Or, honestly, he's just got a BKB. Like, yeah. They have nothing nothing for, for you if you just get a BKB. I and mean, we saw how effective spin was, so... Of course he wants to, I think, increase his damage output with the MKB, but... Uh, Jojo's gonna do what Jojo wants, I think. Yeah. I w wouldn't be surprised to see some... Some interesting builds coming out of JoJo's win. He's gonna totally go like Abyssal Blade or something, so he can blink in Abyssal someone and then line up the shackle to get the power shot off or to get the that would be focus fire off. Kind of funny. I have seen Basher win before, and it is a little hilarious. Um... I mean, it's not theoretically, it's not terrible, right? Because oh. it's a ten percent bash chance. It's not the worst. Like it actually, it's situationally, it's pretty cool. They're gonna clean up Roche very quickly here. 
as JoJo's not actually right clicking Roche. There we go. Oh, unless the blink reveal is gonna get a Roche here, but Dill, he's just focusing up. He knows the objective here is getting that Aegis onto him right now. <gasps> the stun through! Dill's still gonna oh, get it though when he cleans up Deep yep. as well. Bolt now gonna try and blink away. Placebo here. The rest of. MTL still relatively healthy, but a huge crush from Tim. He's gonna catch onto three, applying that ult onto everyone. And now Dill, the Omni Slash, running on a triple kill right now. And they should just get mid, maybe top. I don't know where they want to go. Uh, well, they're backing two heroes because this AM is just running down lanes, keeping them in good position. Yeah. Um, the thing is, he still can't fight. That's the problem. Like he's he's dealing with the waves, but MTL is just struggling to take an actual team fight in their favor. I mean, it feels like they haven't. He clipped himself. <laughs> oh, pfft. nice. And now they're up on the high ground. They have the healing ward from Chug, plus four minutes on this Aegis right now. Um, they, yeah, they just need to stand behind them. Drop and the ward, Dill. Okay, there we go. Just spin and hit tower. He doesn't have a lot of mana. He will have to spin pretty spin. darn soon if he wants to keep that Aegis alive. And he will. And the healing ward will go down. They also do have Oracle to keep him uh, quite healthy. They're losing their bot T2 tower. Yeah, I think rotating mid is the play. They've done a little chip damage on top tier 3. Now they can just clean up this mid tower. Uh, no possibility of a fort. I don't know, man. It feels like they're playing the AM Gambit here. They're getting everything on the opposite side of the map from them. I think they're doing the right play because Bull is not actively, like... I feel like you could go a little riskier, um, since you're seeing a few of these heroes here on the wave. Um, I think you, you, at this point in the game, you have to go and and get this tower down and and play a lot more aggressively. And I think if MTL drops like a, a low ground ward, which gives them vision of these heroes, and if they're TPing away, then then you're fine. You you have a Manta name. I think you have to make these plays and potentially cut mid as well. The fact that the mid wave hasn't been cut yet um, means that uh, hobbits can just effectively sit here for however long they want. And they're totally fine with it. Tim, he's going to get a stun off onto uh, the Ember here. The Blaster is going to keep him alive a little longer, but the Bash plus the BKB from Tim is going to clean him up. A nice pick, and this should lead to the tier 3 tower going down, unless fourth's going to be used. I mean, but they got a healing ward there. It's like... It they doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, Arena's gonna go out. They're gonna catch Dill. Actually, not even on the wall. He goes on to something else. I'm not sure, but Lung Butter's gonna get shackled up and brought down. Snapfire ult is available just now. It does come up now. They um, are losing their bottom P3 to AM. I'm just saying. Yeah, but they can get the racks here and then go top. Like, this AM, in terms of pushing speed, is not as fast as this farm jug. As Dill. Look, Dill says do not stop pushing whatever we do. I honestly think they could go top, but they're gonna go for the safer play and just back out. But Sub might look to catch anyone. Who oh, can. <laughs> what a freaking counter spell by Bull. He was TPing out. JoJo blinked and threw his shackle shot and he got it. He reflected it. That was nice. Uh, he's not gonna catch him. Uh, Dill is actually still hanging around here. I guess Aegis, but no one on his team wants to be with him. AM, though, is going to be picked off here. Looking back mid, Dill, he's trying to fight out over here. He has a TP if he wants to use oh it, but oh, he doesn't God. need it. It's MTL who's in danger here. <laughs> and unless Placebo actually still wants to keep fighting. I don't know about this. He just got bashed. Oh my God, Mariachi's just been freaking vacuumed in from God knows where, but he managed to get the Aegis, so... You could maybe call it a win? I don't know about that. Actually, AM, what the heck? I don't know what he was doing there, but he just got bashed into oblivion and he was brought down. Yeah, go, go top, go top. Absolutely. Run, run, run. No JoJo, but it's 3v4. Yeah, and, and this is the problem. Like, AM a year ago would be spooky enough, I think, to to be like, oh god, 30 minutes, he's gonna have, like, crazy items and stuff like that. Oh, Tim, he's gonna catch Ember once again. Placebo's gonna have to use a remnant to escape. I don't like that T4. I think they need to get objectives. Yeah, they need to go top. Um, yeah. Going going for tier fours is not the play. It looks like they want to choose bottom, get the last outer tower. So 
I mean, that's good. I mean, they're they're losing uh, experience. Dill is also alone once more. Does have spin TP, and I think they have just scouted out the fact that Jug's farming here. Thieves is very far forward and smoked up, placing wards. But this does mean that Hobbits should get this bottom tower for free. Yeah, and then they're built spin TPs. He just went home. Huh. The whole enemy team was top. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they can test bottom anyway, but it is some nice map movements from Hobbits to do. To basically juke them across the map. Yeah, and now they have to TP and uh, sub is just felt just neutered this game. <laughs> yeah, it was it was not the time to pick Darkseer at all, I think. Um, it, I think he had like an off lane and had no time to farm in the mid game. Like there was no lane for him to just sit in and push it down because they were being outpaced because, you know, you picked an AM. You can't pick like an ultra farming pause one and a Darkseer. It just feels so bad. Yeah, they kind of want to do the same thing, right? They kind of want to just vacate lane, stack creeps, kill them efficiently, get their big timing items, but like neither one of them, like n nobody wins, you know? Yeah, like, because Darkseer and Am want to play a very similar part of the map in terms of like occupying the lane that's risky to be in, because Am can blink and Darkseer can just shell creeps and like hang out in trees and soak XP. Um, and you can't have both of them, because then one of them is going to have a really bad time, and it's going to be the Darkseer. Okay, so Dill is opting for the Ags now, which I like. Yeah. And you've got the the Scotty, the Basher. Might as well go for the Swift Slash. It gets even yeah. more valuable the more items that you have. Also, MTL is, like, smoked up, but they're going for the very large wrap here. And they might just get Jojo here. If they can get the spells off and oh my god, nope. None of the spells are gonna connect. They get the shackle, but Placebo should be perfectly fine unless oh my god. The they're not gonna get the hit off onto Placebo here, but they found the Mars instead, and now the Omni Sash has been to be committed. Mars immediately buyback buys back. That was quick fingers to hit that buyback button. Not quick enough for the arena though, unfortunately. He was mashing. Oh. Tim. That's it. Old Tim. I honestly don't know how MTL gets back into this game at all. They have to have probably the most perfect fight ever, and that has to be from Hobbits making some serious mistakes. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to work out very well. Yeah, what is our net worth differential? 18k? 18k. That's... It's huge. Yeah. It's... It's almost insurmountable. I mean, there's always a chance, but even Dota Plus is not liking, liking the chances at all. And um, Dota, Dota Plus is pretty optimistic oftentimes. Yeah. It kind of likes, like, hard carries like AM, but... Um, I I don't. I mean, I think when we saw that AM picked up in the draft, we had the correct reaction, which is it's just not what it once was. It's not like the... Like, maybe in a pub, like, you're like, oh, my team doesn't know what they're doing. Like, we'll just get, like, split around the map, but... Yeah, it feels like one of them heroes where you want a 1v9 in a pub. Hope your team can just break even with the enemy team, but, like, in 5v5 Dota, it does not feel great. Yeah, I the hero's just just not strong. I think any other pause one. So like I think that's hard not to talk about next game too much. But MTL definitely has to swap up their core pick. Uh, Swift slash picked up for Dill. Ags completed. Um, I do wish Tim. Okay, Tim is going for Ags. I would kind of like to see him get the shard to be honest. Yeah, he's been getting some really solid crushes off, and I think it would also um, remove any 
extra things that he has to do in terms of- Oh my god, Dill gonna switch slash forward onto Placebo right here. The crush off the mark, but Tim is still gonna keep walking forward. Yes, that BKB, he wants to pop it, and he is gonna use it right now. Bull in the back line is looking for someone. The Fear's gonna go off the mark. It's just gonna hit onto the but Jojo now gonna get the shackle off. It's actually not gonna hit completely, and now he's gonna get run it over here. He's got that win run going, plus the false promise on him, and he's just going off onto Lung Butter, and now turning onto Placebo as well. Dill's- I mean, Jojo's definitely gonna go down here. There's no way he's surviving. Um, but Dill in the back lines is cleaning up these racks, so they are getting objectives, and now Tim, he's gonna get healed up, plus disarm, and now, oh, where is he? He's going in the back lines, he's looking for the Oracle, but he's not gonna find him, and now Prop, he's gonna pop the Bedlam, gonna turn back off onto the AM right here, he's gonna get rooted up, and he's gonna go down, so they've lost three heroes, and that's no buyback on this AM here. That was the ultimate, uh, get down Mr. President scenario, like... Jojo's like, yeah, I'm just gonna blink it. Oh, the switch slash plus the bash. Oh, he didn't have any remnants anyway, but that's GG. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So next game, don't pick AM. Point number one. Yeah. I think that's... Honestly, the takeaway for MTL. Don't shoot yourself in the foot in the draft, because that was... That wasn't it. Um, yeah. Uh, I like, I honestly, I, okay, I didn't like the, um, Darkseer and the AM. Like, Darkseer just did not feel like a hero that game. Yeah. He had the lowest damage. Okay, so, yeah, literally, the two heroes I just said, AM and Darkseer, had the two lowest damage on the team. I think just lowest overall impact, like, when you pick Mars as a support, you especially need a, I think, a playmaking 3. The same way if you pick Mars 3, you need a playmaking 4, but Darkseer's not a playmaking hero until you have, like, 4 items, one of those being a blink, so... And, like... It's, it's rough. Yeah, you want, like, you want, like, blink, ags, and guardian greaves, and then you actually feel like you're contributing to someone's Darkseer. Yeah, it's... Uh, they, I think they just need to pick a little more. I feel like MTL's never, like, super aggressive with their drafts. Um, they always have, like, kind of, like... Uh, like a Tide or an Underlord or a Dark Seeker. It's kind of, like, they're stable from the offlane. But I think they have pulled out stuff like offlane Mars before. Um, or at least they're starting to. And I think if they can play a little more aggressive, because Hobbits is, like super aggro in terms of their drafts and their play style so um they, they need to either like match that or draft correctly to play for the late game one of the two uh but i think that's mostly it for for game one unless you have anything else mm. I felt like they did okay in lanes. Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna beat a dead horse at this point. I, I think we move on to game two. I I, I want to see the different type of drafts from MTL, but not picking a bad hero right now. Yeah, um, definitely. Maybe I guess a little more meta picks, um, and hopefully those coincide with the comfort picks as well for MTL, but. To not beat the dead horse any longer, we're going to go to a, a short break and be back very soon for, for game two of this series.
All right, we are back with the draft of game two of Hobbits to Isengard versus Mary Todd Lincoln. Um, and this should be should be a wild one. We've got some solar bands coming out. MTL banning that bane again. Um, let's see. The Dazzle Weaver was also banned game one. And they're going to ban the AA as well. So same first two bans. It looks like they're not uh, very scared about anything that, that was pulled out in that game one from either side, it looks like. Uh, it should be kind of interesting as to as to what they, they want to go for. We talked a little last game about um, what exactly like MTL needs to do to improve their 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 the state of the game, and it's mostly draft based. Um, and it looks like Hobbits are taking quite a little while to figure out their first pick. Always kind of odd since that's the one where you have the most time beforehand to that is because it. jojo is arguing with them about what they should pick <laughs> jojo's like give me i don't know what is jojo like he's like mid clock or something oh wow okay <laughs> okay 100 percent. jojo's not playing wind again yeah i'm surprised with jojo being on the team they don't go ahead and just ban marana <laughs> I guess if they know he's going mid, they're like, oh, we're not super scared about the Marana, you know? Um, yeah. I feel like that might be the their reasoning behind that, but... Bring yeah. back the Samel mid Marana, Dagon second item. <laughs> oh, God. Leap in, drop Star Storm, nuke him down. Don't give him any ideas, my God. That does not sound good. Okay, well, that's... That's just a team fight winning hero right there. Yeah, it does feel a little slow. That's a problem. Like, cause MTL supports kind of just didn't do anything on their own, and that was a Mars and Snapfire. And Warlock is way slower in terms of like, I have to say, like everything. Um, so it's like kind of. It just feels it feels like they're they're not I guess like actively um, swapping based off their their last draft. I do like the Willow though. That is definitely a steal. I like I like Willow Warlock because Will can output a ton of AOE control and do damage herself. And combined with a Warlock, you get Fatal Bonds. You drop Rock. Like, the two just feel like they work well together. Yeah. Same game. That's a team hero if I've ever seen one. I... That's one of my favorite heroes that Tim plays. Yeah, I think he... One of the... The, the like, the signature ones when I think Tim playing, like, a, a really... And always playing it well, I think Sand King comes to mind, for sure. Uh, DK, Sand King, that's the first time I think I've actually watched him play Slardar, but it felt pretty good. Yeah, it did feel quite nice, I think. Um, yeah. But I love, I love the epicenter blink sandstorm like it just gives you so much damage throughout the game and they banned the morphling unfortunate they didn't want the double sand king <laughs> that would be that would be pretty rough i mean when you've got dill on 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 a team you always have to um make sure that the the sand king does not exist so I mean, not the same thing. Morphling. There we go. Yeah. So they banned they banned Dill's top two heroes, but now like I don't know. Like I th okay, they banned Spectre. Okay, well, that's why that's why I was gonna guess they were gonna go for. I'm trying to think. Dill loves playing Life Stealer. 
Yeah, they might get the like classic just deal heroes with the life stealer there. Um uh, what else could they I mean I think it's just Dill, right? Yeah, I think as much as you wanna like ban out his heroes, he has like eight heroes that he's like really comfortable on as a pause one that he can just pull out at any time. You've got like the monkey king, like T B, uh Luna, um uh, if PA was good, you could use PA, um, even like a PL. Also not that great, but still, I, I don't think it, it really matters as much. Uh, it's not like AM dumpster tier, I think. Yeah, it's one of them deals where if the enemy team has a good good, good carry player or a good mid player, I don't think you try to ban out their heroes. You pick good heroes for your team, good synergies and look to cause pressure on the map where they have to 1v5 and you're never going to actually be able to 1v5 no matter how good you are as a hero so <clears throat> i think you just pressure the crap out of them if you ask me oh let's see mtel's gonna go for the underlord um I don't know. I just feel like life stealer's good here. Like yeah. you infest the Sand King, you get a life stealer bomb. As soon as they start trying to drop lockdown on you, you just rage out of it. You run in, you whack the enemy team, and we know he's gonna go like a Mjolnir S and Y type build again. Yeah, it just. It just feels, like, free for Hoppets, I guess, right now. Like, if you... There's so many heroes that are that are just favorable into Underlord, and if you just get one, it, it's so much easier. If they go, like, Wyvern Lifestealer, I think Underlord just has the worst game in the world. Um, and it's going to be, like, Willow Underlord, so you're going to want to get kills, but you can't really do that. Um, the good thing is... They got a circle AoE stun or root and a circle AoE root. And they got fear. They got cursed crown. They got firestorm pumping out constant damage. Like, theoretically, you're not going to. It's going to be like hitting a brick wall trying to fight into them in a team fight. So you're going to kind of want to kite and force abilities. And then once abilities are out, to go in. So, like. I don't know. I think like a, I, I'm not mad if they pick like a terror blade here, to be honest. Yeah, I think that that works as well. Like there's there's so much uh, potential for picks. I think for Hoppets, which makes it a lot better. Um, it just feels kind of kind of rough. Um, this is the thing. Like, I was talking about like old MTL versus new MTL. Oh, Bloodseeker. Okay, a wild. Um, does Dill play this hero? Let us see. Dill's played a little bit of Bloodseeker. Um, the question is now, does Jojo play Bloodseeker? Because that'll be a... I, I know Jojo plays Bloodseeker as a hero that he has to play, right? I think so. Let me, let me stock his Dill above super quick. Yeah, he's got a ton of Bloodseeker, so that is potentially a mid Bloodseeker here. Um, Which is, <laughs> mid blood seeker can be really freaking scary if you're not, if you don't answer it. Yeah, it can be quite terrifying of a hero, I think. And I mean, so far they don't have an answer. Um, geez, I don't know what they do. I don't know what they pick actually. So the question is, are we gonna see the first ever blink blood seeker? <laughs> <laughs> He ruptures and then blinks away and then just confuses them. That's all it is. He blinks in, Glipnir's, drops Ten blood right, seconds. ruptures anyone who tries to run away. Five seconds remain. Um, so. Ah, uh, I don't know. I do like, actually, I do kind of like Invoker here. It gives you the potential later in the game to build an axe and 
do, get a cataclysm off because you have so much AOE control. Oh. Um, yeah, the, the cataclysm, I think, is like good potential damage, but it also feels like they don't have enough control for this, you know? Um, it feels like relying on the cataclysm is just gonna. It's just not gonna happen correctly unless they pick like a faceless void as their one, which, you know, possible. Um, I, I believe Bolt does play that hero, um, so something that could occur, but it feels like they need way more control for that to happen. And if you pick Void, you are picking Void into Wyvern, which never feels good. Um, that just feels like you're, again, shooting yourself in the foot during the draft, so... Um, okay, so I know you've played a lot of Sanking. Yeah. How does how do you feel with Sanking versus Illusion Heroes? Five um, it kind of depends, honestly. Um, I feel like Sanking is generally strong against them, um, because of just what spells you have available to you, and also the fact that you can push the pace of the game. Um. But also, there's like a point, like something against like a Naga, I think Sand King's worse at than a PL. Um, because I, I was I was sitting here in my brain thinking, besides the Sand King, like Naga's pretty good here. Like they're going to go to initiate, you just drop Song and ruin their ultimates, you know, whether it be Curse or whether it be, you know, Epicenter stop Bloodseeker uh, you build the shard on her and you get 5% healing per second with your teammates in song it kind of counteracts Bloodseeker a little bit um, she farms ridiculously fast I don't know I, I besides the Sand King but it's kind of one of the deals where like maybe pick it and then and, like try just not to get it laned up against the Sand King like send it off lane yeah like, I don't position know position one still yeah um, that's a possibility. I think, I think MTL just has to play something, like, aggressive as their one. I don't think they can afford to go for, like, a farming one, because uh, Hobbits is currently setting, like, a breakneck pace. Oh my god, they picked fucking- I- I- I hate my life. Um, <laughs> well, everything I just said makes no sense, so, uh, um... Uh, pick void literally pick void here and i think you just win the game um if you hit your spells because this is a mid seeker uh you you're gonna have to get bkb go like maelstrom smy bkb or something on void now i am confident here that invoker should win oh my god i don't i don't understand what's happening in this game gray this is pk to 8012 brother what pa is not good against bloodseeker it's not good against wyvern um wind literally just transitions into a core that can murder you late game you can't fight against a am late game and also mtl kind of just can't put the same pressure on an am that hobbits was able to game one like i don't this this am has to i mean this pa has to go like like off, off. like maelstrom echo or like deso bkb or something like if if a battle fury is being built on the pa i think mtl just loses the game straight up um yeah so okay just throwing this out here i've i've never personally done it but what would you think on like a if i was like if i was going against pa right because pa theoretically is a decent pick against a bloodseeker because she's got blur they're gonna have to build some sort of true strike uh to deal with you at some point in the game yeah. so what if on your am instead of in break the mold and you went maelstrom orchid and then just transition that orchid into a blood thorn and just chase the pa down all game uh i don't think you do that on the am i think am is a hero that is one it's like the only hero i think in the entire game that is stuck building battle fury or he's like terrible um at least for now 
I think on your Bloodseeker, you literally just play around Rupture. Peel, I mean PA, if you're just standing still, you're gonna get completely, like, clapped. I think Jojo just, like, ruptures his PA, drops the blood right on him, forces his PA to, like, blink strike to someone who's far away, she takes, like, 50% of her HP and damage, and then you just clean her up easily. Like, it's... It's super rough. I don't think AM even has to bother itemizing until like an MKB later on. But I do like the idea of a Bloodthorn. I think the, the, the wind can go for an Orchid and I, like or destroy even them. Because like an early Bloodthorn just wrecks their game plan. Uh, I think if Jojo was playing like any other mid hero it would work, but Bloodseeker just like desperately needs like actual control. Like, I think a Glepnir on Jojo is the play. Um, yeah. I think if he goes that Orchid, like, they kind of just My walk thanks. away from him, because they have, like, uh... They have so many... They have, like, roots. They have decent disengage on MTL if they're not ruptured. Um, so I think Jojo gets, like, Maelstrom BKB into Glepnir, and he's unstoppable. Um, but, yeah. The big concern I have, right, is they're... It's big AoE circle of control that's going to be continually getting thrown out during team fights. You're going to have to be really specific with your blinks on AM because he does not want to build BKB. Yeah, I think, but the thing is, I feel like at least if they're playing the fights correctly, AM can just go for people that aren't the the underlord i think he's gonna most probably be gonna be focusing on this invoker or like the two supports and um they have like the other damage the blood is gonna be the one doing like the main brawling just like running into people and just going like crazy um, uh yeah uh props dead oh prop yeah he's taking a huge amount of damage i don't know Absolutely. exactly how yeah, that happens that but <laughs> so he has 600 hp Aggro the lane by right clicking PA. And Tim, Tim is, is actually in trouble as well. The yeah. dagger slow. It's going to be enough. That's not how you want to start this lane at all. <laughs> oh, the yeah. power shot misses as well. So he took like 200 damage from the creeps before they even started doing anything. Yeah, that's uh, that's not it. <laughs> and that is one thing about Sanki. If they drop vision and you took first point sandstorm, you have to get Burrow Strike so you can at least get away. Okay, there it is. Yeah, he needs to or at least carry a sentry of your own. Um oh thief gonna get shackle shot, but nothing more. But as like a as a core, you can actually expend a little more gold and oh, like win the 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 ward war with your against the enemy five because the pause one is never gonna buy a sentry but you can buy one and your four can buy one so you'll be much better off uh they block the pull camp uh down bot that's kind of nice yeah it does make things harder for am but they're also shoving the wave at the same time so it's like kind of a little counterintuitive here. Yeah, whenever I play Underlord, the last thing I'm worried about is them pulling. Because I know my lane's gonna be shoved in, so they're just gonna lose tower if they pull. Yeah, it's it's a little interesting here. Um, they're gonna do a little bit of wave shenanigans, but I mean, Dill so far is fine. There's very little kill potential because the fact that sub's completely out of mana all the time. I think a soul ring is the play for this lane. Um, yeah, I think you go like Hood, Soul Ring, and then you have to get that Atos a little later. But, yeah. It's an interesting kind of lane setup. And, and I'll, man, I'll tell you, Placebo is taking a lot of chip damage from tanking these Blood Rites. Yeah, I like the fact that he's also got a wand picked up. Jojo is a little confused on where he's supposed to be walking. So we'll take a little bit of damage, but should be fine. Placebo's doing pretty well in both last hits and denies here. But Jojo isn't too shabby, just a little too a little bit behind. Ooh, 
careful, Bill. Yeah, he has to be <laughs> Thank you. a little aware, but he's going to get a salve from Mariachi, so no what? real issues. Okay. I feel like in a scenario like that... Alternatively, Sub here is going to get slowed down by the Arctic Burn. Needs a few more right clicks to kill him. One more from Dill should be enough to do the job. And now, Wasted Bramble means that Hungbutter is out of mana and can't do a whole lot more. And Jojo is just ridiculously fast running and picking up the runes. <laughs> He's sprinting around, yeah. He yeah. might get the other one as well if he drops... Oh, nice deny. But the Blood Ride Placebo just might die. This is level 3. Jojo gets him under tower. He needs one more hit. Is he going to get it here? He is going to get it. He's going to heal up as well. <laughs> Thebes TP'd here, which means top is free. They should run at bull right now. Um, they should recognize the fact that this PA is alone and get a bunch of harass. Yeah, just burrow strike him. Just like literally, he should not touch a creep. Yeah. The fact that the warlock is here in mid uh, means that the P uh, PA should be having the worst lane of her life right now. But uh, so far, they haven't actually. Oh, they're not able to get the pull off because I think it's been blocked. But. It will finally they are, respawn. They're not having a good time bot on Dire. Yeah, they, they're like okay in CS, but you should be looking to shut down this AM further. Dill is playing on low HP though, but has the Ring of Hell, so it's not going to be too much of an issue. Jojo, oh, juice the Sunstrike. No kill going to happen here. He's got Rupture. Do you think he goes for it? Oh, I think so, yeah. Pop's TPing in as well, so no TP is going to happen. And now the Shackle? It's not going to actually connect, but... Jojo's going to TP away because the Forge Spirit's just whacking him. And I don't think Prop can complete this kill as he's, like, <laughs> tickling him barely, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, but now? Now that Tim's alone top, Bull has a Dagger and a Blink Strike available. They just need the Vision. Oh, yeah, he's going to get it. Ah, he should have burrow striked in those trees. Yeah. Gotten rid of vision. He still may have died. Now, Wyvern bottom. Mariachi is in a little bit of trouble. Gonna cold embrace and salve. I don't know about that one, but we'll just set up for a death here. The firestorm's gonna come out unless. Completely juke. But the sun strike also off the mark. The brambles will hit. One of them will hit onto the Wyvern here. He's got the Arctic Burn available in a few. Might just be able to juke up onto a high ground here. He's gonna do exactly that. He's gonna go up here and potentially TP out. Yeah. He's out of here. And they just wasted a ward as well. And now, Thieb, gonna get run out top. There's gonna be a dagger to slow down Jojo. He's got a rupture soon, but probably won't want to commit. I mean, you're a level six Bloodseeker, man. I think you gotta. I think you gotta go hard on that one. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to dive under the the tower though. That would have been a little too much, I think. Oh, I mean, he Dill's he going in up. onto sub, but now that sub has no mana, Dill doesn't actually deal that much damage. He's mine. The old catch 22. So you get level six, and, then it's a, and he's about to hit level six. Like, oh, I think Jojo Mitch is gonna get caught in the meatball, but he has a regen rune if he can survive it all. And Placebo is completely out of mana, so. Oh, watch bottom, watch bottom. Bill's about to get level six. Bill's gonna get six. He's gonna obliterate Lung Butter, I think, once he gets that mana void. Go for it. Do it, Dill. Go crazy. Oh, Mirage actually got the ward. What a player. Sub went all the way back to base. Currently level 4, so 2 behind the AM. Oh, Tim, I think top is going to be in a little bit of trouble. Unless prop, they're going to get the shackle off onto the warlock right here. And the burrow strike. So Bull is currently under the sandstorm, but we'll just blink away. Oh, he had epicenter. I'm surprised he didn't channel it there. Uh, he's under a sentry, or at least was under a sentry for a hot second. But, honestly, I don't think I agree with the epi here. I think you just go further points of the sandstorm. Because PA always has this blink away, and it's going to be very difficult to get it off. Unless they just rupture the PA, and this is it. The thing that PA hates the most. Not being able to blink away. Going to pop that bird, but Burrow Strike is still going to hit off on you. They're going to get the shackle as well. And Epicenter used. Wow, okay. Um... Interesting, but they do get the kill, and that's what matters. Uh, meanwhile, mid, Placebo's gonna shove it down. Bottom, Dill's just black and sub again. Uh, he's going for Hand of Midas on Invoker. Oh, he's going the classic Exorc build? I don't know. 
pad just doesn't feel good to me. Oh, top? Tim? Might? No, he isn't gonna go down. He does have the fatal bonds on him, but should be just perfectly okay, unless Jojo decides to farm these creeps, which would be kind of funny, but... That would, uh, that would be classic Jojo. <laughs> Gets his offlaner killed off, yeah. He's like, yeah, I couldn't miss out on that 150 gold. Dill bot. He just keeps like aggressively blinking forward and I'm ready for him to uh throw out his tool in, but I mean what can sub do honestly? I kinda wish Dill went just a value point in the counter spell for a little bit of that magic res, but hey, like, sub literally can't do anything. Um it's so incredibly rough playing into this. Unless Dill walks into two brambles, which is definitely not the play, and he might just die here. Oh the cold embrace in time. It's also going to wait out one of those roots, and they can turn off onto the Underlord right here. Sub does oh, not have much mana left, today. and there it is. He is completely out of mana now. Mana Void as well, doing a huge damage to Lung Butter as well, so... Oh, Tim, gonna go down top. Nice Sunstrike hit from Placebo. Oh, uh, do you remember when Sand King used to have Sandstorm where he couldn't move? He had a that was horrendous. Off. Sand King literally yeah. became a ten times better hero when they changed that. It was ridiculous. Yeah. I, I remember playing it in pubs, and they counterpicked me with an invoker, and I quickly figured out why he was not a hero at that time. <laughs> Sanking, uh, honestly, that's probably one of the greatest quality of life changes I think they've ever added to Dota. Uh, Epicenter Cancel is... That really too. Good. I think Sanking just was really, like, a horribly tuned hero, and then they're like, wait a second. Let's if just make him exists, better. Yeah. He, he has King in his name. Why is he so bad right now? <laughs> Sanking was pretty horrendous, honestly. I mean, he was still, like, strong, though. That's the thing. Like, it just felt really awful playing him in, like, certain uh, matchups. He was keeping bottom. Not sure what the Warlock's hoping to get here, but maybe he wants to catch Dill. But Dill does have a blink away. And uh, another Dill also deal. has another mana void, so, like, he can just theoretically just delete this Warlock. Yeah. I... This is such an interesting move, um, but it looks like Dill's just gonna back out. They're gonna pop the Rupture on Sub as well. Sub has no TP or no Dark Rift. There are four heroes here. Dill needs to blink away and he's gonna get it off as the pause one bull has arrived from MPL as well. Dill, he's, he's gonna go to the Sunstrike. I heard it and I tapped over. Oh my god, that's such a play from Placebo there, but they are gonna get a kill on the Beaver. The Focus Fire is gonna get... I just literally knocked my mic over out of excitement, but um, sorry for that noise, but now bull in the back lines uh looking to get away has no tp has blur up in one though he's probably gonna want to use it to to get away properly as jojo's looking to get him on the other side the shackle's gonna catch him inside that oh my god the magic damage that they're able to output over here oh the miss though the miss jojo with absolutely zero points in his first ability yeah it's not as good oh. anymore so yeah yeah it was a lot better when it healed you, but yeah, it the... definitely helps if you're going for early kills. And they're gonna lose bot T1 tower. Yeah. That that Sunstrike kill on Dill was so huge there. I think that's the only thing that made that fight worth it. If Dill got away there, then all of that would have been just an utter waste. But here's the thing, Dill's on par for like a 14 minute battle fury. Oh, he's still super farmed. Like that's the crazy yeah. thing. In terms of net worth, he's barely behind this invoker that's had that has a Midas currently and utter like free farm. And I have really liked his movements these last two games. Like he recognizes they're gonna pressure bot, he just immediately goes top and farms their entire jungle and doesn't have to worry because they want to continue showing bot. Um I don't know if I can say like best carries in like 80 to 12, but like Dill honestly has some of the best farming patterns, I think, out of like uh, most carries that, that play in this league. Um, yeah. Especially for his skill level. Like, obviously, I think like a divine carry, like, you know, of course yeah. they're going to be better, but um, that's why I think Dill is just like a value player. Also, JoJo's looking for someone with this arcane. He wants to get a rupture. It looks like they're going to get a catch on to Thieb right here. Has the golem. He wants to drop it, but he's going to get silenced up. Now Sub's going to get ruptured. I don't know about that one, but they're going to get the Bedlam. Plus the... Oh my god, the Sunstrike. It's dealing a huge amount of damage to Jojo. He needs to get away in time. That's not the Cold Embrace. That's, 
Oh no. no. And now the rest of Hobbits are going to look to disengage here. The Warlock Golem is going to hit, but Mariachi does have Curse. This could actually just kill a support if there's enough heroes around. Um, uh, or you could just pop it on Oh my god, Tim. Tim has a blink. Died. This could actually be one of the craziest team fights here. Set up with the curse. Don't use the epi just yet. Yeah, Tim, here it comes. There it is. That's pretty cool. The, I can feel the joy in your voice because you're a sanking player. You're like, oh baby, that was a perfect epicenter. That was that was pretty good. I mean, um, I mean, it's just nice seeing them get their combos off because I was really scared that Tim was gonna pop that epi and then there'd be an, a curse directly on top of it, but. I can tell you one thing from playing with both Mariachi and Tim, uh, their communication with their ults are really well, so I could see it happening in a <laughs> scramble fight, but a playing fight like that, that was very well executed. Yeah, um, Bull actually did get the Deso, so this is one of the things we were discussing in the draft, but the fact that he didn't go Battle Fury is huge. Um, on the flip side though, Dill is having a great game has that early battle fury like you pointed out. Um, I think Tim might be in trouble mid, yeah. Tim is most definitely dead. No chance of escape. Yeah, but that's five heroes. I don't know. Yeah, that it's is like they... <sighs> yeah. a lot committed for just the Sand King. He already has Blink, so it's not like he's really like item starved right now. Yeah, you can just build a, a, a hood on him now and I think you're, you're, you're happy with your game. Jojo has to be careful though. <laughs> oh, he's actually just, I think, gonna die thanks to that cold embrace. Um, oh, that's a really nice curse coming out. Prop in the back line is gonna get a shackle as well. Looks like they should be able to get all their teammates out. Um, no epicenter available. They actually have no big ults except for Rupture for the side of Hobbits. And is Am still farming? Again, I would like to see him a little more aggressive here. Like, this tower, I think, should be pushed down. Like, that's the, the one thing. Yeah, they should be forced to TP back to that T2 if they want to save it at this point. Yeah. Um, and, he, and he missed a whole creep wave. Like, they're significantly more experience in gold out of a creep wave than a couple creep, uh, like, neutral camps. Yeah, you definitely know the Warlocks here, you know the Willows here, and you're seeing the Underlord bottom, plus a lot more. I think Dill needs to take advantage of this and, like, hard push that tower. This is the same thing, I think, last game. He's just playing yeah. a little safe, even on, like, Jug. But now, he's gonna blink in. I think recognizing the fact that um, there's quite literally everyone from MTL hitting this bottom tower. And um, I kind of want to see Jojo here to de-push. The Blood Rites, I think, their main way of um, de-pushing besides the Sand King blinking in for, like, Sandstorm or something like that. But that's high committal prop gonna dodge actually he just walks into both brambles so that's gonna be kind of rough but wind run will get him away in time oh. again another cold embrace i don't know if that's the play is it sets up for an easy sun strike stop with the cold embrace. <laughs> Dude, they got so much magic damage and if, if they if you stand still between firestorm sun strike and everything that uh dark will gives them like you're just gonna die every time it doesn't oh, kill you. Tim's gonna get a stun off onto sub, and that's a lot of damage if they can get any follow up, but it looks like they're not going to. Up top, Dill did get that tower kinda low. Jojo's have been running down the mid, so that's a that's a free kill. But now Dill should trade what in the world? Oh my god. Tim just got both. Huh. Word. Oh, and they get top tower, so that's a valuable trade for Hobbits overall, I think. And Dill's gonna have that Manta pretty darn soon. Definitely like a pre-20 minute Battle Fury Manta. And like, the thing is, even the fact that Dill's having such a good game, I'm still nervous as to whether he can like, carry it. Cause that's just how AM is, you know? Yeah. Like, you can hit that critical mass point, but they have the ability to slow you down. Like, they can still just kill you. Like, you only have a yeah. thousand HP. You need like a... Uh, like a Scotty or or like a f like a full BKB, I think. If you even then, like PA also has like huge crits. So I think like an AC on someone is gonna be huge. I think it falls to Jojo. The fact that Jojo went Yules is a little uh, a it's, little meh. It's what I build on offlane Bloodseeker. Yeah, but I would do it on mid. Like Jojo's about to get. 
caught here. He's gonna have to use himself up in the air, but that does mean Sub's gonna get a free catch. Plus, all the setup in the world. My god, that's the thing with Yules against their team. Yeah. You're kind of serving yourself up on a platter. Right, Yules is just a setup for you to get your blood right off. Is all you should be using it for. Yeah. Um, I think... I think they need to, uh, not ever cast Cold Embrace this game. <laughs> Unless, like, you're clearly out of vision. Unless there's a PA jumping on you, that's really it. Um... And he needs to curse, not curse PA, he needs to curse anybody around PA, because she will just delete her team. Yeah. You got that Deso almost a level 2 coup de grace, so... And does coup de grace apply in Winter's Curse? It does, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure. It's a passive, I think. Um, yeah. I think you can get crits on your, your teammates. Sounds about right, so... I... Honestly? What I'd like to see out of JoJo is I'd like to see an Ags. Yeah, I think an Ags would be pretty valuable. Um... Yeah. Uh, I mean, but... Dill is just shoving top lane down. And they have not addressed it at all. He's gonna get power pressure here. Yeah, they're potentially gonna get a kill on prop mid, but that's mostly it. That freaking Sunstrike combo is so brutal. Uh, that is Rock committed for the pause four, and they still have a pretty decent way of just deafening this tower with Blood Ride and Sandstorm, so... I mean, they, they're showing everybody mid though, why is Dill not pushing Rax here? I think, yeah, Dill should definitely be knocking on the tier threes. The fact that that's not happening is certainly not good um they know everyone's here and sub has the atos has that pit so they have to be really careful about showing here looks like dill maybe wants to fight i don't i don't know that doesn't feel like the play tim though is gonna get a stun off onto sub i think he is he actually is not under vision just yet he is pu pump faking that epi he's gonna get dusted up prop now gonna get caught by the tornado and the uh Oh, he's going to go in with the epicenter. He's just going to go onto the world here. So it's a 4 for 4 time. Pause 4 for pause 4 trade. Now they've got the rupture. What do they have the rupture on? They have the rupture on Bull, and they're able to cancel the TP as well with that mana void. A nice play. Dill making his debut fighting in here. Sub does have his ult, but he needs to pop it right now if he wants to get out in time. And it looks like he's not going to get the chance to do it. Going to fall to Dill as well. And very favorable fight for Hobbits. Defending their tower and cleaning up three heroes. Uh... I'm sorry, Dill just walked into a PA on the back lines. I, I, I feel like he should have died there. He used his blink aggressively <laughs> to kill a creep. And, like, you're a level 14 PA. Like, I mean, commit to him because he's not that strong. Like, like you said, four, uh, like 1400 HP. Like, <laughs> he shreds to, like, two crits. Yeah, they were just, they were a little, I think, confused on their targets. Like, the invoker was, like, busy running away from the Bloodseeker after using the entire combo on a on a Windranger and um and like the sub was not nearby to like control till um I think the Willow died also in the back lines or died to the epicenter. They were just like really all over the place that fight. Well it's it's okay. Uh Bill's about to get back banned because he built a KP on the end of the game, so <laughs> He's making the the right play here. It is the right play, yeah. but you never see it. <laughs> it's it's a rare thing. Um, I'd like to see a Basher probably next, and then like a Scotty, I think. Um, yeah. He did have Scotty queued, but he swapped he it for the BKB. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And like they're not they're not running at him at all to try to you know what I I think like. I don't know, I just think they should have ran at him at some point during his game. Yeah, I don't know, like, the, I, I like the fact that Hobbits is positioning around this, though. They're gonna get the all. Oh, they're gonna get the Rupture Blood right hit off onto the Invoker right here, and now he has no way of getting out of this alive. He's gone for bots minus, so that's not gonna be the way to get out. Uh, Jojo gonna have to yield himself up into the air. Tim now in the middle of four heroes is gonna go down. Power Shot's gonna run through, but that's a one for one right now. The Fear as well? Oh, Lung Butter just gonna... Fear a few heroes away, but nothing else is going to happen here. And Dill is able to clean up the bottom tower for that and start putting a little pressure on this tier 3. 
Oh, I uh, saw here the Atos. Prop gonna get caught in the pit of Malice, but they're gonna use the curse. They're just gonna get the silence plus the blood right off on just up here. Now Bull trying to find someone to jump onto. Has to find someone. Gonna look for Prop here, but he is cold and braced and is gonna get caught in the pit. Poor Prop, he's just stuck here for years upon years. Shackle's gonna come off, but nothing more than that. Okay, so Dill's back top. Did he take. Okay, he just straight up skipped his all 50 talent. I feel like that max mana burn talent is actually pretty easy. I I literally have no idea. I, I don't know what AM's talents are unless I'm looking right at them. Because I don't play this hero and rarely ever see it, so... Uh, Jojo about to hit level 15. You definitely get to rupture initial damage. That is so good. Yeah, the 10%. Quite nice. Yeah. Like, you just cast it on sub, and he loses 170 HP, and that's before he even walks. And he's only level 12. I feel like Subwoofers had two really bad games. I feel like mm -hmm. he was going to shine in this series, but... Uh, I think they're really just, like, shafting him with the picks, or rather, I don't know if he's doing the drafting. Maybe he's shafting himself with the picks, but... Um... Or perhaps he needs to like expand and get another hero or two into the pool, because um, I think, in terms of like the meta now of offlaners, you have to have like an aggressive blink stun offlaner, and they're gonna go into Roche here. Um, Pop's gonna get the actually doesn't have the javelin yet, just has the blink. They're gonna scout it with the sunstrike. With the sunstrike, but it looks like they're just gonna try and push bottom as the is the trade. I mean, I mean, you got it underworld. Group up is five. Pop your ult on wave go in fight this I, I think this is a like they're trapped in Pop's gonna right die now. to Roche if he's not careful my god okay yeah they have to push super aggressively here I think if they want to get any value and the rest of Hobbits is low and it doesn't look like they're actually planning to death this properly um I don't know about alacrating your your underlord but they should just go in and oh my god tim this guy's a madman he literally just walks in they're gonna get the blood right off but again they have an underlord he's just gonna literally rift his entire team out jojo almost kills himself by walking in there but uh i don't you know, know if, what that was but if, if tim had a yules that was an okay play i think because you can Blink in, stun out, and then if they try to come in on you, you yield yourself up and let your team come in, but... Yeah. That was a super aggressive blink. Well, he's got Aether Lens. I don't think he expected to blink that far. Yeah, it was... Uh, or at least he thought his team was a little further... Or oh, a little closer. Oh, this Warlock, this Warlock. Thebes should just get picked off here. If they can actually see him, yeah, they're gonna spot him. Prop's gonna get the Shackle off. Not gonna connect, but Tim's gonna get the Burrow as well as the follow-up. Dill's gonna blink forward, maybe look to secure the kill. Yeah. Now Jojo, looking for more. Does not have a rupture for 15 seconds. Um... Looks like they maybe set their sights on this tier 2, as Gil does have the Aegis for another 330, so... No, he took the blood right damage. Oh no. What? No. I don't think that's what you do on this hero nowadays. I think he's all about his ultimate yeah. as a core. You're either, like, oh, you get that rupture stuff, Dill? Oh my god, he's in the back lines on sub right here. Oh, the Gale Force as well, it's keeping them there. Dill's gonna get thrown up into the air, so the stun is actually dodged away thanks to that tornado. Um, and he hasn't even popped his BKB yet. And MKB's done. Dill is officially online and currently the strongest hero on the map. Uh, by far, and yeah, now he gets Abyssal, and what do you do? I mean... <laughs> Game is a lot easier for Hobbits. Of course, I'm definitely not out of it yet, as Bull also does have a 9 second BKB, but if there's a rupture on this PA, it's gonna be rough. Uh, Placebo yeah, does have Orchid. He's like two items behind on PA. Oh, he's very much behind in terms. Of, he's almost 10k net worth behind. His deal just blinks in like a psycho. I mean, he does have the Aegis for another two minutes, but should be fine. Man, that quality of life, giving you a timer to the ages. Oh, mm -hmm. I love it. It's so nice to see, honestly. Gale Force, it's gonna push sub back in. 
still has that BKB, and now he's going to pop it. It looks like there's going to be a rupture off onto the PA as well. I really don't know about that curse there, but that is going to make sure that PA's BKB is wasted. And now Tim, he's setting up with the epicenter. He's going to catch three. He's going to catch two inside the sandstorm. He's going to tear them apart. And now the invoker dying in the back lines over here under his own tier four. Tim has to stay alive, getting hit by this tower and also the shadow word. But now he's going to sacrifice his life just for that kill. Going to have to be forced to pop this buyback here. He's going to use the fortification as well. The curse crown going on to an illusion and... I think Hobbits is okay to still engage. Yeah, they still, get still fine. Yeah, I feel like am I paying crazy pills here? You have to build Yules on Sand King, right? You can go Yules or Lotus. The dispel is, um, I think, almost essential um, to playing the hero. Yeah. Yeah. Dill. Should be fine. Has the Manta up in one? Is gonna use it. Gonna get rooted up though, but. Ugh. A cold embrace to keep him alive, and, and oh, he blinks in. This guy's crazy. I don't know about that one, Dale, but um, Love to get the ages down. he's gonna die and potentially get rooted up on the respawn. Yeah, he's gonna get caught in the root, gonna get lifted up into the air, gonna get rooted again. But now, Jojo's the one in trouble. They're gonna pop the cold embrace as well. And Bull has to be careful. This MKB on the AM is gonna deal a whole lot of damage, and he shreds lung butter apart. And now. Jojo, he just doesn't have the mana for the rupture, but he's gonna walk in and try and go on to sub. And now we're gonna try and run away the root. Oh, they're missing all their things. The Aethos goes on to the illusion as well. Mariachi looking for someone, looking for oh, he pre cold embraces, so he's gonna be fine for now. Placebo is gonna set up with that. Um, ooh, that curse is not it, but. Um, oh, Tim's actually back into the game. He's gonna get the stun off onto Bull here. Bull just gonna blink away as PAs do. But now Tim, under some vision here, under a sentry, gonna get orchided up. So he just died, and now he's going back in. Oh no, Dill, the big bad carry. He's back into the game. He's gonna dodge the deafening blast, and now gonna have a blink away again. And these guys are just <laughs> not, not really wanting a, a chill game. Running in yeah. like a bunch of crazies. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, they're beating a hammer against a brick wall right now. They're, they're, they're definitely chipping away, but like at what cost? <laughs> uh, they did. Uh, that means Dill does have Basher now. So uh, trades the Aegis in for another item. They didn't get any racks, which kind of feels bad. Um, and they have used, I think, the same amount of BKB charges, both on seven for both cores. I think uh, they just gotta play around the rupture. If PA's ruptured, she's just dead. Yeah. That's why I... I don't know, I... I see, he just built a Yasha. I don't think you go right-click here. I think you go utility and lockdown, so you build Ags. Look here. I think at this point, yeah. I think if you wanted to go, like, um, any right-click, you had to do it at the start. And now, I think Ags is definitely the play. Um, getting... They are under vision, but... Uh, Dill does not care. He's gonna go and gonna get definitely blasted away. Jojo's gonna get caught. Oh my god, the Gale Force pulling, pushing, pushing Placebo further back. And now Dill gonna pop that beacon. He's gonna look for the Invoker. Gonna delete him with that Mana Void there. And now, looking for someone or potentially just a backup and get the mid lane of Rax. There is no buyback. Jojo's gonna get Cold Embrace, but there is no Sun Strike available. Thank God. Uh, how? Did that splitter blast hit oh it's it? the shard on um yeah I, under I i didn't think it hit people if they weren't in vision it's a 1200 range it's huge huh it's like it's incredibly big that's and the shard also it lowers the cooldown i think so it's like great shard for wyvern uh okay so i don't know do you start getting worried at all if your hop is here i mean I don't Bill's think so. Be the strongest he's gonna be, I think. Um, I I don't know, cause now that Ags and has been added to the game, like this is a sleeper Ags or AM. The fact that you can like send three illusions at once onto someone, you basically kind of just like soft commit, and this invoker is gonna get destroyed. It's basically like blinking in and using your Manta. Um, it's really really strong. And I feel like Dill has space for one more item. He swaps out his like treads, I think, for like a an AC or something. And or maybe even his Battle Fury. Um like backpacks that or sells it, you know? I and mean Yeah. I, I think mean, he needs he a Scotty, has, yeah. He has almost doubled the net worth of PA. 
Yeah, this PA is not having a good time at all, and Bloodseeker should only get stronger. It's it's weird. Like, um, the fact that they haven't taken a Rax yet is a little worrisome, but the their their net worth lead is like continuously growing. The fact that it's not evening out, I think, is is really good for them, and they don't have to be super worried. And also prop, the fact that this um, Wind Ranger can just basically become another core. Wow, Jojo is insane, my god. Um, just going on to the Warlock right here, they're gonna get the Disarm off, and but I think they should be able to get the Evil dead in time. Oh, he's not gonna get Brock off. Gonna Yule's dodge as well on Jojo, he's gonna get the Spider Legs away, so he's down to the low ground, and meanwhile, Dill hitting the top racks, or top tower rather. And that's another fort. I don't know about that one. Dill has a BKB, so he's just gonna BKB blink away. Gonna go for the safe play, but now Tim, he's gonna jump in with the epicenter. He's actually not gonna be able to kill anyone just yet. The burst strike's gonna go off the Marcus Bull, man. He's just got his BKB in time. He's now gonna turn onto the Sand King and Jojo instead, maybe. He's gonna blink over to him, but he's getting literally no crits. Bull has some of the worst RNG I've ever seen, but the Gale Force is gonna push them away from that blood right, actually. But now Dill, he's gonna turn on, he's gonna get the Abyssal Blade. Now he's got that mana void. It's huge. He's able to take down the PA. PA's been forced to buy back. Now he's turning off onto Sub. Sub's completely out of mana, completely out of health as well. Jojo Jojo running in like a madman, looking for someone, but he has that BKB and the Yule's available if he wants to use it, if he feels threatened. He is going to pop it here, Sub's going to get the root though. Now, BKB available, they're going to get the Rupture off onto Placebo as well, but he's able to walk up into his fountain in time. Dill has to be a little careful, going to get the Bash off onto Bull here, he's going to have to run up to his high ground. Another Disarm coming out, Jojo with the Spider Legs and the BKB running fearlessly into the fountain, but probably wants to back away. Maybe just get the Rax, please get the Rax. Sub now going to get turned upon right here. Dill doesn't even have the mana for the mana void right now. He's going to get feared away. Now they're going to get the Orchid as well onto the AM right here. The Colder Priest is going to keep him alive a little longer. Might actually just set up to get for a kill here. The Shackle Shot dodge not with a nice Shadow Realm away here from Lung Butter. Dill, blink away. Go for the Rax, please. Objective based gaming. Are they finally going to get it? Deeb actually walking around here. Not sure what he's doing in the trees. Maybe just setting up for a rock. Dill? Oh my god, he's going in with the BKB. This dude is insane. He actually has no mana for Mana Void, but he's going to. Maybe get Bull down, he has to blink away. Oh my god. Just back up in time. Please, my heart can only take too much, so much, Tim. He's gonna be able to get Thebe here. The Sunstrike again off the mark. I can't tell who's Cold Embrace there. It looks like it's Jojo. Now Bull gonna take a whole lot of damage on himself, gonna get cursed up, but that's only gonna last for half duration as there were no enemies around. Dill again running in, looking for someone. He's gonna pop that Abyssal. Finally, he's gonna get the PA. That's a die back onto the PA right here. And it is looking really, really rough for MTL, despite the fact that Hobbits have just been running in crazy with no regard for their own life. Can they get the Rex? Can the Sunstrike hit anyone? No. no blood, blood. It's not gonna work. Oh, and Jojo's just gonna get full, killed the full here, so... Yeah. He's gonna get back into this game. Gym time, boys. <laughs> Uh, MTL's not calling it though. They still feel like they have potential, and I think it's possible. Hobbits have been jumping in like a bunch of crazies, and they might just like throw it. Dill not looking to commit the Manta just yet, and a smart play as he is. Oh my god, he pops the BKB, looking for someone, looking for anyone. Maybe gonna get the Abyssal onto one of the supports, not gonna happen. Please, just get the racks, I beg of you. If Jojo was back at the river. <laughs> Yeah, Jojo is just chilling as they're on opposite sides of the map right now. Dill looking to blink in again, I swear. The PA is up in 30 seconds, so they still could fight. Um, looks like they're they're just backing. Oh my god. That was some... Some, some top level just running in and throwing bodies. But Dill is now almost... He's, he's ahead in terms of at least double the net worth of the PA still. And he's going for the butterfly, so that's going to make PA's game kind of impossible because there's no way she's getting an MKB anytime soon. I mean, but, like, JoJo's not dying to PA. He's dying to spells. Yeah. Um, like, it's all magic damage, just... Jojo really just needs to get, I think, like an axe or some kind of control. Like, even a basher, I would like. Um, yeah. I mean, even a shard, so he can at least effectively trade, because, like, he's pretty much not doing any damage to a core right now. 
it, it's just it's the rupture. Just get the eggs and just play around that. Um, it's so much damage and so much utility against like if you're able to rupture both the PA and the invoker, they're both out of the fight. Um, and it looks like they're going Roche now. Finally able to get it. Yeah, they got ski, yeah, but... Oh yeah, they're gonna get caught by the Sunstrike as well, so... Uh... Okay, so he took the mana void pull that he has had major mana problems. <laughs> yeah. He does not have the mana to actually uh, get that off in time. The shard? Who's it gonna go to? Who got the shard? Oh, it looks like they gave it to Bloodseeker. Okay. Uh, yeah, interesting. I, mean, I think that shard's actually a good shard for him. Yeah. It lets him do damage. I honestly think... Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anyone else worth giving it to that already doesn't have one. Okay. Are they going to go for the Rax? Dill is currently smoked up with that ninja gear. Looking for... Someone. Can he go... Oh my god. Placebo? Potentially? No, they're not going to... They're not going to get him. Oh they man, hobbits. Network lead and they are insistent on dragging this one out. Yeah, this is gonna be a wild, wild engagement. I mean, he just popped the blur on PA to disrupt her. Oh. oh, he's gonna dodge the rock on Jojo unintentionally, but they're gonna get the rupture off. It looks like Placebo's been caught once more, and now they're running in for a deal. He's gonna get the kill off on Subwoofer right here. What more can they get? Oh man. Now, Jojo, a nice curse though to buy themselves a little bit of time, and now Bull's completely out of mana here. They're gonna catch this PA here after this curse is done, plus the silence as well. The mana void gonna go off onto the wrong target, but they're gonna get the three heroes nonetheless, and now they're turning off into a here. The GG is called as Hobbit's running over them in their base. <laughs> Stoppy says, please spare me, keep me alive. Um, and they're gonna, they're gonna shred them and take them apart. Decisive victory for for Hobbits. So we trash talked AM all at the in the last game, and then they come in, and AM looks like the strongest hero in Dota. Yeah, I think they. Whoops, knife in. Get out of here. Um, but yeah, I think they figured out what they had to do, and and they executed it perfectly. Um, I unfortunately have to go because I have something else I need to deal with, but that was a really, really solid match from Hobbits, and I think they pulled out exactly what they needed to to make that happen. Any other last words you have right uh, here for this nope. match? Nope, that was a good cast. Yeah, that was really fun and solid. A good play, good showing from both teams here. Um, <laughs> definitely food for thought for MTL to maybe swap up their drafts a bit, but Hobbits, they're looking strong, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's all that we have for you all tonight. Thank you all for watching and supporting these two teams, and we'll catch you all later.